So, Monaro, oh, it's just you, just one you. That's it, cooking for the whole school. Wow. So I cook big quantities at home too. But this is a lot, just you every day, 1,289 kids. And the heat is all coming from wood that she's using to burn to create enough heat to boil all of this. As I sit here in my pajamas, <laughs> I've had a tough day, a really tough day. Anyone that knows me knows I love children. At home, everyone on my team knows if you say kids, I say yes, no matter what. I always wanted to be a mom and it wasn't in the cards. Three miscarriages, no kids, but I also am aware that I wouldn't be able to do what I do today if I was trying to raise a small child. But kids pull at my heartstrings, no matter what. <laughs> today we visited a school and the smiles were amazing. Every one of those kids looked so happy. 1,289 students, 20 teachers, one cook, who uses three pans, that's all she has, over a wood-fired open flame. I sat with her and helped her cut some onions for their lunch. They were making, uh, she was making maize, corn, and beans. And I found out <laughs> that there are 170 of those kids that don't eat every day because they're either orphans or underprivileged. As you can imagine, <laughs> it broke my heart. But again, those smiles of those children, so grateful for every single thing they have. It just reminds me that joy is everywhere, <laughs> that we live in a country that has free lunch for every child, and so much of that food gets thrown away. <laughs> People don't realize how much we waste and how much better we can do. And I feel responsible now after seeing this to help tell that story nutritional security is something incredibly important to me i feel blessed and honored to get to do what i do and when we decided to call this the journey of joy i have to remind myself that there are hard days but there's also joy everywhere I couldn't post about this today because it's really hard. But I also will use those smiles and those hugs from those kids <laughs> to remind me to embrace the little things, to be incredibly grateful to get to do what I do. And obligated to make sure that I tell their story <laughs> and that I also seek joy. But today, <laughs> today,
Today is a tough one for me. It's tough. But I'm going to keep going. <laughs> and I'm going to keep talking about it. And we're going to create sustainable change. Because everyone has the ability to make a difference. The tiniest changes can cause massive ripples. It costs $30 to feed one of these children school lunch for a year, a whole year. We can and must do better. There is no reason that hunger or nutritional security or insecurity exists in this world today where so much, there is so much, there is an abundance. We just need to reorganize this a bit, think it through and do better. For everyone, we have to do better. I personally believe that's possible. So that's where my joy is going to sit today, that I believe in the possibility.